tell you a story? Well, I do know the most incredible story of all. My story. My legend. The legend of Puss in Boots. Like all great tales, it begins with a humble gato. I entered the establishment in search of a simple score. The patrons did not take me seriously. Until they were reminded of my reputation. The men gave up what they knew. That the bandits Jack and Jill had somehow found the magic beans. The legendary beans for which I spent half my life searching would lead to a giant's castle and to the Golden Goose. I would finally be able to repay my debt to my hometown of San Ricardo. I needed to find the location of this Jack and Jill. I could smell that one of the bandidos could help me, but he suddenly ran away. Whatever he knew, it was important enough to hide. But if I was to find those bees, I would need to catch him. But the other bandidos were not going to make that easy for me. Fear me, if you dare. This will be easy. Do not mess with us. <laughs> Let me handle this. I'm coming to get you. What call that fighting? Another enemy beaten. Let's see what you got. Coming, ready or not. Here I come! Oh. I'm coming for you! You have all learned a valuable lesson. Why are you idiots just standing there? Attack! Ready for this, Spoons? I shall show you. What? He really wants to fight me. I would love to stay and play, but I gotta go. My flare was unparalleled. Come and get me, Gato! He did not want me to follow him. But I always think on my feet. He would not stop me for long. I must catch up with the... Uh, uh, why, senorita, what are you doing in a rough place like this? is all yours.
I will never tell you the secret. Watch out! I promise I won't throw another barrel. Oh no! There you go! Here it comes! Watch out! You are not very good at this. I promise I won't throw another barrel. Oh no! There you go! This is very easy! Here it comes! You keep rolling them, I'll keep dodging them all day long. Catch me if you can! Unfortunately, there were uh, hey, el gato. Uh, complications.
Bandit's friends were departing. I would soon find out what I needed to know. So, mi amigo, don't you think this would have been easier without all the running? Jack and Jill were staying at the hotel. And they hadn't seen the magic beans. The fiesta was in full swing, but this was business. I would have no time for pleasure. Well, maybe a little time for pleasure. It was the classiest hotel in town, and nothing was going to stop me. With those beans, I could repay what I owed to the people of San Ricardo. The guest book would tell me where Jack and Jill were. I just needed to take it. But I could not risk being spotted. There was a price on my head. If I put the book next to me, I wouldn't have to keep turning around. Mm. Must have been the wind. If I put the book next to me, I wouldn't have to keep turning around. Mm -hmm. If I put the book next to me, I wouldn't have to keep turning around. What's that? Busiest time of the year. Yeah, right. Room seven. Before I could go there, I would have to deal with other obstacles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? How did... Hey! You see anything? Like what? Anyone suspicious? In this place? Everywhere I look? I could not afford to be spotted. If Jack and Jill were alerted, it would be the last I saw of the beans. Did that statue just move? Keeping my eye on you, Mr. Cactus. I 
must be imagining things. The room was ahead. But first, I had to get past my friend from the harbor. The hotel was very old, as were the squeaky floorboards. What's that? I was caught. Eh? But luckily, El Fiesta del Fuego provided a suitable distraction. Que bonita. No! Es todo? No more? Arriba! Es todo! Es todo! Hey! Fireworks! Jeez! Hey! Fireworks! No! Es todo? No more? I was at the door to Jack and Jill's room. There was just one problem. It was locked. Luckily for me, this was really a problem. The hardest part would be getting the beans. I would have to employ my very best sneaking skills. Just this creaky old hotel, Jill. Don't worry. Did you hear a noise? Oh, sweet. You're just jumping because of them beans. What was that, Jack? Oh, sweet. You're just jumping because of them beans. What's going on? It's just this creaky old hotel, Jill. Don't worry. Hey, what gives? Who is that? You, you, you. Stop where you are. for something? <laughs> uh, no. Uh. Housekeeping. Friend was telling me nothing. I needed to know what he knew. Was he too after the magic beans? You! You cost me my beans! At least do me the honor of facing me in a duel! You will have to do better than that! Oh. Look! Who's in boots? Oh, 
Okay. My turn. Coming. Ready or not. Only one amazing feline in this town. I admire your skills, but I cannot allow you to continue. Why so quiet? Something to hide? I will get you. I can promise you that. Right here, right now. There is nothing you can do. Okay. That maybe. Well, get him. Give me one moment. I am 
No way. But only a fool would. Well, I guess that answers that question. There is room for only one amazing feline in this town. But I cannot allow you to continue. The people were enjoying the Fiesta del Fuego, unaware of the spectacular show that I was putting on behind them. Only a madman would cross the harbor, or another madman who was following him. I will get you! I can promise you that. Think you will get away again? <laughs> Fortunately, things could not get any worse. Or maybe they could. The cat! Get him! You can give up when you like. Thank you. 
Does not lose a cat. <laughs> I am going to pet. Let me show you how it is done. Think that you are a fraidy cat! I was not proud. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I admire your skills, but I cannot allow you to continue. What have we here? There was something about the place. There was a distinct sense of anticipation. I came face to face with the one who had cost me my score. I was ready to fight. Dance fight!
I had won the dance fight. This was not a surprise. What happened next, however? My rival. A woman. It explained a lot of things. Her name was Kitty. But the real surprise was still to come. Humpty Alexander Dumpty. He was once my dearest friend. Like a brother to me. Just the sight of him caused me to have a flashback. Like this, I had arrived in the home for lost children, a kitten. An impossibly cute kitten. On my first day, Humpty had stood up for me. And in return, I decided I would always have his back. Humpty spoke of legends and inventions beyond my wildest dreams. But most of all, he told of the castle in the sky and the beans that were taken there. Humpty was the brains, I was the skill. Just a kitten and an egg in search of magic beans. What could be more natural than that? As time went on, we found ourselves in trouble. But where I became a hero, Humpty took a darker path. He tricked me into stealing from the people of San Ricardo, from our home, bringing dishonor to both of us. I escaped. My brother did not. We were never to speak again until this day. Humpty was still in search of the beans, and now he had found them. We would repay our debt to San Ricardo together. He knew exactly where we could find them. But Jack and Jill were moving fast. Naturally, he had a plan for this too. This is not the plan! You are so very aggravating to me. My right. I had to catch up. I had to catch that coach for the beans and for my honor. I was proving once again my extreme agility and skill. When do we start the real plan?
make such a lovely mother. Cat of most unexpected strengths. Hey, Jill, this is fun, ain't it? It's nice when you talk. We have some adventures, don't we? steal my beans, and now you're stomping on my luggage? You better not be messing with my jack. Hey, glad I'm not the one doing that. How do I look? I got a treat for you, pussycat. You get him, Jack. Playing all day, kitty cat. Still looking good. I'd love to join you, except, you know, traveling in style. Must be easier ways to travel. Gotta hang on! Gotta get back for those beats and stay alive! Never thought I would spend my day doing this! Doing a great job, boss! One tough piece of luggage!
I was kind of busy. The beans. Fine. I will go back with the booms and the bags and the everything else. Fine. Are you sure that you are okay? Oh, do not worry about me. This is just a normal everyday activity. You look pretty comfortable. You may not know this, but you are actually not helping. Just grab the beans, he says. Easy job, he says. Do you want me to come and help out? Remember why I stopped listening to you. How are you uh, getting on down there? Never see. I've trained my whole life for the speeds. He had been planning this day since we were small. We carefully planted the beans and waited. And waited. And then... Amazing things happened. Clouds, snow, some wind, some very pretty lighting. We ran, we climbed, we had an up, we climbed some more. Until eventually we arrived at the castle and the location of our treasure. However, even with our great strength and will, the golden egg proved difficult to move. As always, Hamti had a backup plan. This is not a safe place. Look at the size of these things. There she is. Finally. The Golden Goose. Shall we go get her? Choking up here. I need a minute. You better go without me. I shall lead the way. Oh no. We come all this distance, and now that there is treasure, you will lead the way. Uh, puss. She's gone.
suddenly feel so small. You may go first this time. Why, thank you. Wait. Why? Uh... No reason. Oh! I get it. Doing a great job, puss! This is not made easier by your talking! Almost there. Hey, Puss! Have you got the goose yet? Oh, why, hello there, Senorita. Fancy meeting you here. Another job for me, then. Puss in boots, in a boot. Ay, ay, ay. I'm getting the hang of this! Uh, oh. Not again! The beautiful flower. That is like nothing I've ever seen. is over there. I suppose you'll be there when I get there too? Maybe. Yep. 
You are very slow today. If you are so fast, why don't you go get the goose? And miss out on all the fun? No way! A small cattle in a big, big castle. What was that noise? Um, uh, how are we? Pardon me. They talk of the Great Terror. It's just a story. Anyway, you should just go grab the golden goose. You'll be fine. And you are not going because? Oh, uh, well, I have important plans to be making. And you? I am not insane. I think we know what happens here. I get close, you fly away. Well, not this time, mi amigo. This time, I wait for you to come to me. <sighs> Here we go again! Just be careful! Me? I have encountered more terrifying foes than a simple plant. I shall be careful. Very careful.
were a worthy adversary, but I have won this battle of wills. Finally, we had the goose. The goose that laid the golden eggs. We left the giant's castle the same way as we arrived. In style. Looking good, no? No one likes a show off, Puss. Kinda of fun! Are you getting the hang of it yet? Are you always this way? Me out. I would take to dry. Not good. Hello? Hello, guys! Any help? Anyone? I'll just wait here for a minute. Still kind of trapped. I do not even know how you managed to get there. Thanks, puss. I thought I was a goner. You can always rely on me, brother.
Just grab hold and float down. Really? Yes, really. Woohoo! This is kind of fun. Just how I roll. Just a normal day in my life. Coming through. Woohoo! Nothing like some gentle sliding to get the heart racing. Hey, watch yourself! Something of an expert at this. Look at me go! Hey, check me out! Guys, think happy thoughts. <laughs> you sound tiny. No, you sound tiny. Will you two stop arguing? We landed safely at the base of the Beanstalk, but our safety was short-lived. Kitty and I were overwhelmed by superior tactics. They came for the goose, but they went away with more than they bargained for. Kitty and I knew we had to find him. We followed the tracks back to the bandit camp. There was a certain sense of the inevitable. Ah, yes, there they are. This will be easy. I shall deal with the cat. Are we all having a sit down now? You better be ready! You have all learned a valuable lesson. Ready for this, Spoos? Looks like... Never color a cat. Here I go! Uh. 
You have all learned a valuable lesson. Are you ready? wants to come forward. Anyone else want to play? Smells like cat. You have all learned a valuable lesson. Must I do everything myself? Never corner a cat. I am coming for you! I have barely broken a sweat. Thanks to my keen senses, I am able to detect the slightest hint of a trap. I had to get into that room and save Hamti. If I could sneak up on the bandit, I could take the key. Eh? Hello? 
Hello? Once again, I would have to prove myself at the dark art of mime. I must be imagining things. Is that? No, can't be. be imagining things. What you do not realize is that I am the greatest sneaker in the history of sneaking. Shall be going now. Lovely to meet you. I had escaped the danger of the explosion. Although there was clearly no danger to come. I am 
good to get out of here before the whole mine collapses. Unless something more important comes along. is all yours. <laughs> Kitty, I was just uh, looking for Hampty, but I see you have already found him. What is that you say? Okay, Gato, let's go! Let me show you how it is done. Here I come! a valuable lesson. Here I come! Ah! Smells like cat. I will deal with this. to take over. Smells like cat. I guess I'm next, huh? You better be ready! I am coming for you! Here I come!
another enemy beaten. Hey, nice boots. Must I do everything myself? Okay, that's it. I am coming for you! You took your time. I can leave you in there if you're so clever. Remind me who was distracted by a ball of yarn. I think I preferred it when you were full of dynamite. We had the goose, and we were safe for now. We celebrated through the night. Two old friends and one new, united in victory. But in the morning, the goose was nowhere to be seen, and my friends had vanished. I was alone once more. I decided to return to my home of San Ricardo. To my surprise, Humpty was already there with the goose. And my fate had been decided. He had planned it all from the start and revealed himself to be a master of deceit. But his revenge did not stop with me. The people of San Ricardo were next. I was powerless to stop him. Luckily, I still had one true friend. I knew where I could find my so-called brother. My only wish was that I was not too late. Come on, come on! You are nothing but trouble! No! This way! Humpty Alexander Dumpty. I will not let you get away with this. You're too late, puss. The Mother Goose is on her way. She's coming for her baby. Help! Puss and Boots has stolen the goose! Help! Stay here. Let's see what you got. Ooh. I will deal with this. The next one will not miss. <laughs> Must be an off day. Come on, come on! You are nothing but trouble! No! This way! Humpty Alexander Dumpty, I will not let you get away with this. You're too late, puss. The Mother Goose is on her way. She's coming for her baby. Help! Puss and Boots has stolen the goose! Help! Stay here. Let's see what you got. Oh! Green.
valuable lesson. Let me show you how it is done. Here I go! Turns out, I am very good at this. Anyone else want to play? Are you ready? after her baby. She would destroy all of San Ricardo looking for it. I had lost the golden goose again, but I had another much bigger problem. For the sake of San Ricardo, I had to stay out of sight. The goose had eyes like a hawk. My only chance was to once again demonstrate my skill at stealth in disguise. Too close. Hey, 
That was too close. How's this? I had a feeling they would not give up the goose without a fight. Luckily, fighting is something that I can do. Let's see what you got. Oh. Oh. I guess I'm next, huh? Coming, ready or not? Valuable lesson. You want to fight, little cat? I guess I'm next, huh? Coming, ready or not. Take her! Saved, but my friend, my brother, fate held a different path for him. Humpty Alexander.
Alexander Dumpty was a golden egg all along. I was free. I had paid off my debt to the people of San Ricardo. But Kitty never stayed in one place for too long. Nor was she the time for big goodbyes. My only hope was that one day our paths would cross once more. Their story was over. But for me, this was just another chapter in... The Legend of Puss in Boots. <laughs>